this is an update here. Uh, I'm sorry it's been a while since I've uh, since I've had a chance to do some filming, but uh, as you can probably see from this, um, I've been doing quite a lot uh, to the car and I've made some changes as well here. Um, so, as you can probably see from here, um, I had to change the way that I was going to install the components into the car here, into the engine bay. And I came along and um, I fabricated this uh, kind of a tray uh, that would fit in there uh, between the two strut turrets. And on the tray there, there's a piece of uh, two mil um, galvanized sheet steel to which everything is uh, kind of bolted down. And uh, the big white box in the middle here is the con controller. And uh, <coughs> as you can see, that's got um, 70 square flexible cable uh, bringing power to and um, from it. We have a Kilovac uh, main contactor, a 400 amp uh, um, battery fuse, and I have changed the position of the brake pump to be up here on the tray. Um, I had been kind of hoping that I would have it under the tray there um, on the bracket beside the um, beside the um, motor. But sadly it was a bit too big to fit in there. Uh, so I've had to go ahead and uh, change things about a bit. Okay, so um, what I've done today is I've had everything here installed and uh, kind of checked out at 12 volts. And uh, I've fitted two, see these blue batteries here? These are 150 amp hour AGM 12 volt batteries that I have in my home um, solar power setup. So I took those, those guys out and I brought them down here and um, I fitted them here into the car uh, to give me 24 volts just for testing. And uh, I basically have them just installed here on pieces of cardboard just uh, sitting on the front battery packs. Um, I'll hopefully be able to film that a bit better when I have the batteries out. Uh, but there's just two of them in there. Um, they're about five years old but uh, so far they seem to be doing quite well. And I just have a Mickey Mouse charger here. Just to uh, just to top them off um, while I'm while I'm doing a few test drives just here or on the uh, the floor area uh, just to see how things um, just to see how things uh, play out and so far uh, I have to say that I'm very impressed um, the takeoff. Uh, Kind of thing, the controllability that I have from the accelerator is very good. Uh, the car can creep forward uh, very precisely. And um, oh yeah, I have the uh, the old throttle body installed there, as you can see. And I just got the throttle cable hooked uh, back up to it. And I've got the throttle position sensor then uh, provides the signal back to the motor controller. Um, and that seems to function very well. Um, the, the only teething problem I've had so far today was that the electric power steering pump here has blown two fuses on me. Um, now, I'm, I put in a third fuse, uh, 30 amp, 12 volt, and so far it seems to be, uh, be behaving itself. So. It could have been just a thing that there's a bit of air in the uh, in the system or something. So, fingers crossed anyway. Um, but it seems to be behaving itself as of now. Uh, it's not 
getting hot it's just hand warm after about uh, 10 minutes of driving there so um, all going well it was just something silly so uh, as well as that I'm pleased to say there that I'm not getting any fluid um, seepage so that's another positive aspect of that so what I have as, as well here is I have three 12 volt uh, 7 amp hour gel cells as you can probably see here just kind of held on with a bit of tape and uh, these guys are hooked up in series to provide 36 volts to the shunt field uh, because this is a compound and DC um, motor so we have to provide some shunt field power so I'm providing it with 36 volts DC uh, just from these just from these gel cells just uh, purely for um, experimentation purposes and to keep the motor amps down at low speeds which is what we're doing here so um, that's about the setup now and I'm just uh, I'm just kind of charging up now before I go for another uh, spin